Man's got to be a lot tougher than the timber he's cutting. Finally, I could swing that cross-cut saw with the best of them. the video today i'm back with steen uh i'm glad all you guys could check out the video today uh, before we go any further if it's your first time on the backwood steen channel i would like to ask you if you haven't subscribed i would appreciate it we're on the road to 10,000 subscribers uh so if it's something you guys enjoy i think you might be interested in hit that subscribe button uh, whenever we post new videos or go live, you guys will get a notification whenever we do so. And if you do enjoy the video, leave a comment, let me know where you're from, and hit that like button for me. But uh, it's currently Saturday morning. Uh, so you guys are probably like, what in the world? I don't think I've ever seen you post a video uh, whenever you're working on Saturday. And that's probably true. <laughs> we don't usually work on Saturdays, uh, but one of my buddies... Uh, he's a first generation logger. He's been logging now for about a year, I guess, maybe not quite a year, um, seriously. Um, but he started logging, he bought him a skidder. He's got a truck and trailer and he's a first generation logger. And, uh, I've been wanting to make a little extra money on the side. Uh, so today we're going over to his property. Uh, we're going to be doing a little bit of logging with him. I'm just trying to help him out a little bit, see what we can get into. And I thought I'd make a pretty good video. So, uh, hop in the truck. It's about 4.30 right now. Going to try to get there by about 5 and get started. Uh, it's supposed to be in the low 90s today, so we're going to try to get started a little bit early before it gets hot. And uh, yeah, I'm going to thank you guys along for the ride. Appreciate you guys being here. Once again, if you haven't subscribed, do so. And let's get into the video. All right, y'all, made up here at my buddy's house. His land, he's been logging here. About to land our first big white oak. And uh, yeah, it's might not be the best visual today because it's still a little bit dark, but we're gonna go ahead and get started here before it gets hot. That's the, that's the, that's the plan. Real bad and thing, we are you, uh, you got anything, any uh, expectations before you get started right here? I think it's gonna go that way. <laughs> <laughs> so as long as, as long as it hits the ground, you're happy? With this one, <laughs> as long as I don't bust it, I'm happy. Yeah. With my luck, I'll bust it right down the middle. <laughs> I'm with the first one today. Uh, but that'll do. I'm gonna land it right over here and uh, and that leaf pile somebody's yeah. pushed up. <laughs>
Did you flip one bit won't go. I knew it started pulling out of the right, so I thought it might have been holding a little bit on the right there. That's a pretty wide open. Yeah. Did you turn the light switch on? The what? The light switch, you turned the lights on somehow. <laughs> Sounds like a chiropractor. All right, y'all, we're about to go get the John Deere 440. And uh, Tyler's gonna kind of give me the rundown on it before we uh, turns me loose on there. It ain't the timber jack, so I um, I don't operate the skidder much anyway. So, uh -huh. <laughs> all right, we're gonna bring the skidder down and try to get started pulling a little bit. That's gonna be a good little pull at 440. It is. I'm not, I don't know I'm if it's interesting to see how it does pull up. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> it may sit down on us not do nothing. Like it's Saturday, what am I doing out here today? <laughs> That's first Saturday, it's worked a while. <laughs> it's on overtime this week. It almost did. You mean me, me knock it off for you? Okay. It might pull. It might pull it without the. Uh, you may be able to pull it out of here without breaks pulling. Think so? All right. I'll give it a try.
It's like old Tyler had one jump up in the air back there. Looks like it jumped up. Maybe let the greenhorn cut one. Wasn't a whole lot I could do on that and this is too many limbs that way. It happens. Old 440 is about to have a workout. Old skitters, huh? Here we go. Don't pull that red up, Cole. I was gonna cut it anyway. Oh, I done was just got two and one, didn't even realize it. <laughs> Hey! Oh, John Deere! <laughs> Oh, John Deere suits you pretty good, Landon. You know what happened? I was trying to get out of there, and my shoulders got wedged in there trying to just slide out. It's not built for confidence. Yeah. Well, that worked out pretty good. Yeah, I got two for one, didn't even know. Yeah. The red oak didn't like it, but. <laughs> the red oak didn't like it, I don't think, but. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. y'all we got them pulling there we pulled three pretty good white oaks out and uh now he's wanting to just try to get a load on for monday morning i think so hey, we're gonna be doing some cutting up so he has a 500 i too dad's got one it looks like tires running a 20 inch bar on his but uh we're gonna start cutting some of these logs up try to get a load on his uh dodge and gooseneck for monday morning and uh yeah let's get the cutting up Oh, <laughs> oh, I think this Kubota's underpaid. That Kubota's working hard on everybody here. stave on probably gonna call it a load after this i think he didn't want to push the trailer too hard the truck so 
There's some big ones on there. Definitely gonna add the weight up quick. That little Kubota's put in a full day's work. So the, the first time I ever came over here, about a, well, about a year and a half ago, one thing about this place, the Kubotas are underpaid and overworked. <laughs> I just thought about that. That's a good point. They already saw that little Kubota. Yeah. Tractor while you're over here. Yeah, because you, you was pulling out with it and you was doing wheelies while you was pulling them. That's been, how, has that been two years ago? I guess it has. Probably close, ain't it? Yeah. Because how long have you had this skitter? Been a year. And yeah. I've had it for so, a year. So it been, it's probably been, it's been a year and a half, two years, I guess. Yeah. Since I got started. Oh, well, yeah, we'll have to show them that little track. Yeah. That, well, I, I can't believe I've done that. Yeah. I, I, I'd pull out right there. I started over there. And uh, I'd have to cut them. Because then I was cutting them 12 foot six and 10 foot six. And I'd start over there and I'd have to, I'd lay one down, have to cut the length right there in the woods, hook a chain to it. Hope and pray to God that I could get the chain underneath the log because yeah. you wasn't going you wasn't gonna snake it underneath. Oh no! And a lot of times I'd have to dig it out underneath the log. It take me it take me thirty minutes to get one twelve foot six log out. <laughs> but it, you know you make things work, I guess. Yeah. So Tyler, you, you're your first generation logger. Well, what exactly got you kind of interested in it to begin with? I was tired of factory work. <laughs> tired <laughs> and uh, tired of construction. I done that for a long time. And uh, a good, good buddy of mine, he come over here and, well, they clear cut all that. And uh, cause I was putting that little single out in. And I know I got to mow. <laughs> I know I got to mow. We'll let you know. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> and oh, I'll have to show you my wife's garden here a minute, too. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> I tilled that up and, uh, well, it's got some good weeds growing in it. Does it? That's all, it's, all it got planted. I'm anyway, growing some dandies, too, at the house. <laughs> anyway, um, I just kind of got started, you know, cutting little tiny things and i told him i said come over here and cut this so you can have a timber i just want the view and uh, then he i got to helping him a little bit and then he got to show me and one thing led to another and kind of just got addicted to it yeah anybody cuts timber knows the sawdust gets in your blood yeah and once you do it you you don't want to stop so i mean most days i want to stop but you know what i'm saying <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you want to stop at quitting time with yeah. it and I want to stop at quitting. you go back the next day some days you think some days you think well i don't know why i'm doing this and you won't quit and the other days you think I wouldn't do anything else. So, yeah. And you gotta take the good with the bad. Yeah. So you went and bought you bought this uh John Deere here. That's that's what you've been pulling with and got your knuckle boom truck and everything, just trying kinda of getting started everything, ain't you? Yeah, that right there is more of a yard ornament than anything. Yeah. Well I mean it, it is pretty there, though white. <laughs> Eight ninety nine. That thing's rougher than not in jail boy. I'm here to tell you. Uh, and then I got I I I have shown that log truck, man. I the floorboard rusted out in it. I got a piece of tin covering it. Yeah. Uh, but like I said, you just to get started. You just do what you got to do. And that log truck's for sale, ain't it? It is for sale. I I, I prefer to trade for a gooseneck, but it is for sale. Uh, if it don't sell by August, I'm gonna throw it in au auction. I guess. Mm -hmm. Let it fly. Well, if, if, any, if anybody in the comments is interested in uh, uh what, what is it? It's got a Detroit in it, right? Uh, Silver '92 Detroit. It's ten speed. Uh, GMC. Uh, it, it's, I'm trying to think what year it is. I can't remember off the top of my head, but it's a good, reliable truck. I'm just no truck driver. That's why I got a gooseneck in a truck, because I can't drive a 10 speed, and I'll be the first to admit that. <laughs> well, if anybody in the comments is uh, interested, maybe that truck, uh, uh, do you have a, a ballpark, what, what you'd be asking if, if anybody was interested in it? I got it on Marketplace. I believe it's $4,500. And like I said, that's a steal, man. I mean, yeah. you can't buy a log truck for that. Yeah. And... It's a little rough, but it's reliable. You can put you, you can throw a battery in it and it'll fire right up. Well, if anybody's interested, uh, comment, and I'll try to put you in touch with Tyler and see if we can't get you something lined up. You always mentioned the the GMC. He he was had up for sale. Right here it is, and it's got a really nice bunk on it. Set of log standards, and that's worth a lot right there. But he said he he, he said he'd fire it up, but uh, there wasn't no batteries in it right at I'll the even, moment. So I'll even throw these free chains in with it. I don't even know how long they've been in there. Yeah, if you're gonna throw that in there, I'm, I might be interested. I'll throw some. Uh... Uh, hey, it's got a brand new, uh, two brand new fuel filters in it. Does it? 
I'll throw them in there. Because <laughs> you'll have to have them. You'll let them go with it? Yeah, I'll let the old license plate go with it. I even let the tank go with it. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it does need, uh, it's going to need some steer tires eventually. But, I mean, you know, that's part of it. But if somebody's interested, you can probably get a video of it starting up, couldn't you, oh, at, at, at some point? I, I Actually, I got one on my phone. Okay. Yeah. I got one on my phone. It's reliable. It's just uh, not for me. Well, y'all, that may conclude today's video. A little, something a little bit different. I thought it'd be interesting just to go uh, do a little bit of logging somewhere else, help an old buddy out. And uh, hope y'all did enjoy it. Uh, Tyler, he, he he has a YouTube channel. And he, he's got one video on his YouTube channel. And how, how many subscribers you got, Tyler? I have no idea. <laughs> is, would you say it's probably under 50? Uh, yeah, something like so that. So he's probably got under 50 subscribers. I'm going to link his YouTube channel in the description down below in this video. Let's see if we can't get him to 500 subscribers. No. Golly. That'd be pretty neat, wouldn't it? i start making videos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd do more and more. So we'll, I'll show him the Power Backwoods TN family. Let's see if we can't get Tyler to 500 subscribers. If you just take time, take 10 seconds out of your day, go over and subscribe to him. It's a Ridge Runner Timber Company, I believe is what it's under, ain't it? Yeah, thanks. Yeah. So so go subscribe to him. And he's also got a TikTok. And if you want to go watch him cut down some trees on TikTok, you feel free to do that as well. It is uh Tyler Blueberry 7. Tyler Blueberry 7, if you want to see him cut some trees on TikTok. But uh, y'all, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it again. We're getting close to 10,000 subscribers, so go hit the button if you haven't already. And, uh, yeah, so you guys in the next one. Hey, get, he gets to 10K, I'll jump in the pond. Oh, hey, you heard that, guys. <laughs> when, he, when, he, when I get to 10K, we're going to come back over here, and he's going to jump in this pond over here. So if y'all want to see that, hit that button. <laughs> you guys have a good one.